haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt the question on your own before listening on. To begin to solve this question, we can draw a simple picture that captures the information. So here we have the baseball that is thrown with an initial speed of 40 meters per second at an angle that is 30 degrees above the horizontal. Now because the ball is thrown at an angle, what we can do is find both the x and the y component of its initial speed. We'll notice that the x component is adjacent to the 30 degree angle, so that means that we can represent it as 40 times the cosine of the 30 degree angle. The y component, on the other hand, is opposite to the 30 degree angle, so we can represent it as 40 times the sine of the 30 degree angle. Next, we can draw in the trajectory of the baseball. Now, as the baseball is moving towards its maximum height, the x component of its velocity is remaining constant. So throughout the trajectory, we can kind of drag the x component across the diagram, and right there at the maximum height, the x component will remain 40 cosine of 30. The y component velocity, on the other hand, is continually shrinking as the baseball approaches its maximum height. So for example, at this location right here, the y component velocity might be about that in magnitude. At this point, it would shrink even further and only be about that still shrinking when it gets to here and once it reaches the maximum height the y component of the velocity disappears it is not present for the instant that the baseball is at its maximum height in other words the only velocity component at the maximum height is the x component so that's going to allow us to calculate the kinetic energy at that point because we know that kinetic energy is equal to one half times the mass of the object times its speed squared well again, at the maximum height, this is the speed of the baseball, the 40 cosine 30. So we're gonna plug that in for speed, and then the mass of the baseball was given as 0.15 kilograms. So there we have the known values plugged in. Note that both the 40 and the cosine of 30 must get squared, so just be careful when you type that into your calculator. And when you do that, you should get a kinetic energy exactly equal to 90.0 joules, and that is indeed the correct answer. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. You are also welcome to send in your own question to the email address listed